Riding Hood dalam bahasa Inggris. Ayo kita mulai. Once, once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red, Little Red Riding Hood who lived at the edge of a of a big dark forest. Little Red Riding Hood had a grandma who lived at the who lived on her own at, in a cottage on the other side of the forest. Riding Hood scared. <laughs> One morning, Little Red Riding Hood set off to visit her grandma for lunch as she did, did every week. Little Red, Red Riding Hood skipped along the path through the forest, but soon she became tired and stopped to rest under a tree. Hello, little girl. Are you lost? As she closed her eyes, Little Red Riding Hood heard a voice behind her. Hello, little girl. Are you lost? I'm not lost. I'm, I'm going to visit my grandma, who is at the other side of the forest. Who is at the other side of the forest? In a cottage. Who is on, on the, who is in a cottage on the other side of the forest? Said, oh, little girl. Riding Hood replied, What the... What little Red Riding Hood didn't know was that she was talking to a big bad wolf. Was she was talking to a big bad wolf. wanted to gobble up Little Red Riding Hood right then. But he decided he would race ahead to, to her grandmother's cottage so he could gobble them both up for lunch. The wolf ran ahead until he reached Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother's cottage. He knocked on the door and listened. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Called the voice from inside. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, replied the wolf. The wolf opened the door and before Little Red Riding Hood Riding Hood's grandmother could even scream. He gobbled her right up. Quickly, the wolf put on her nightcap and, and glasses and tucked himself up in the bed. The red riding hood could that that her grandmother looked strange, so she switched on a lamp near the bed. Grandmother, what big eyes you have, exclaimed Little Red Riding Hood. I'm glad to see you with my dear, replied the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood crept a little closer. Grandmother, what big ears you have, gasped Little Red Riding Hood. I'll better to hear you with my dear.
replied the wolf. When the dragon he crept right up to the bed. Grandmother, what big teeth you have, cried little Red Riding Hood as the light pointed off the wolf's teeth. All the better to eat you as my dear, shouted the wolf, leaping out of the bed. Little Red Riding Hood screamed and swung her basket as hard as she could at the big bad wolf. The basket was very, very heavy and it knocked the wolf right over. The basket was very heavy and it knocked the wolf right over. Just then the door to the cut cottage swung open and Little Red Riding Hood's father arrived on his way home from, from wood chopping. Little Red Riding Hood told her father all about the big bad wolf and how he, he had eaten her grandmother and tried to eat her too. Little Red Riding Hood's father grabbed, grabbed the wolf, squeezed his tummy and popped Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother and out popped Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood and Hood's grandmother was very happy to be back and he agreed to come for dinner at Little Red, Red Driving Hood's house. Little Red Driving Hood and Little Red her granny, mother, grandmother, and father were walked out, out of, walked out of the cottage and put the door, the door closed behind them. The end. So sad.